Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? Well, I am going to put on my face, but y'all had asked a while back, and I have not done it yet, for a skincare routine, a regimen, however you want to call it, um, that I do every day. And that's ongoing. That's kind of a kind of a changing thing, you know? So I'm still reaching over all those Bibles. Where am I gonna put them back? I need to give them away. I wish I could show y'all a picture. I'll Instagram a picture of my desk. <laughs> you won't believe it. Okay, enjoying a wonderful cup of coffee. I've been meaning to tell y'all about this. Remember how I'm always talking to y'all about the um, Hawaii coffee that I just love? Aloha Happy Place. This is Kauai Coffee. It says, breathe out all the stress and breathe in all the moments of peace with every sip of Kauai Coffee. It begins in the Hawaiian island of Kauai, where for 30 years, our, their orchard of coffee trees has thrived in rich, volcanic soil of the Kaloa estate. And unlike traditional plastic single cups, their coffee comes in unique pod designs that let you enjoy the unmistakable aroma of our premium Arabica, Arabica? Arabica? coffee right out of the package. So let the... No, la, la. Alright, so see, it's like one of these, it may not be plastic, but it does have a plastic rim right there. The bottom looks like it's some kind of like, almost looks like dryer sheet filter. But it's not the same as a Keurig cup as far as a Keurig cup, cup piece of plastic, but that rim is plastic, so. I think the best thing to do is recycle your plastics and the rest of it go to landfill. And that's the reality. I don't have the answer on that today, y'all. Today, I'm putting on skincare. I'm not making light of it at all. I just don't have the answer to that today. Not today. Maybe we'll comment below if you want me to do research on that for you. Okay, so let's start with what do I pre-do? What do I put on my face first? What I've really been enjoying for a long time now is the IT Cosmetics Feel the Moment Serum. Now, let me just tell you, this is such a long title. Anti-Aging Ultra Hydrating Sensory Awakening Primer Serum. So it's a primer for your base. It has caviar at extract, hydrolyzed collagen, peptides, hyaluronic acid, vitamins A, C, F, and argon. Jojoba or Jehovah. Uh, I think it's Jojoba. J-O-J-O-B-A. Avocado and deep ocean water plus balancing treatment essential oils. There's so much good stuff in this. It's hard to believe that it's real You can get it at itcosmetics.com um, Just like any of the other it products. So this is a serum and a primer and Skincare all in one it comes in a nice um, I've got little fuzzes on this and those are not fuzzes for my dog. So I don't know what sweater or blanket got fuzzes on this, but Okay, so it's like an oil serum, okay? So, with that, I use this 100% Pure, that's the name of the brand, Vitamin C Serum. It's stable and potent. You can see that it's in this special glass so that it'll help not get UV rays to possibly alter the content. It says their Vitamin C Serum contains stable, potent Vitamin C for all skin types. The serum boosts the collagen, brightens and stimulates skin renewal, Use on clean skin under other treatments or alone. Um, it does, does say use AM or PM under SPF products. Well, that has, this I believe has SPF. Didn't I just say that? No, it doesn't. Okay, but that's okay because with all the different layerings of things, my um, Perfection Lumiere Velvet does has SPF 15, so... There's also SPF 30 in their um, BB and CC creams. So, okay, just because they're usually more like a tent cover and they want to make sure there's a better coverage to block the sun's rays on your skin. So, that being said, there's a lot of kind of oils in this um, that bring the, the uh, vitamin C. And when I look at it, it's almost funny. Green apple, broccoli, evening primrose, um, grape flaxseed oil, willow bark, witch hazel. You need to be aware of that if witch hazel is an uh, issue for you. Organic aloe gel. Um, but it has certified organic, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. 
So what do I do with this? This is a little messy, as you can see. So um, you'll have just a little leftover sometimes. So I put one squirt of this, one squirt that much, and it already starts moving, and I start putting one squirt of that right on top of it. Okay, so those two together, I mix them up together. What does this do? The warmth of your skin emulsifies the product. For one thing, it makes it warm, so I would think it would activate it more, but it also makes it go further. So this is a lot of products for your face. So I immediately put it there, right over here, here, right on the 11s, and this, this right here, these three wrinkles that are usually on most people's foreheads. But then up into the hairline, not in the hair so it won't be oily. And then at the temples. So I'm going to take this and go right by the eyes where the crow's feet are. Real hard. I'm like pushing this in. And then right, not not in the, where it's going to get in the tear duct or in the eyelashes. But do you see where my fingers are? Right under that. Because there's a big wrinkle. Two, two wrinkles that are usually right there. And then of course where your dark circles are. Which implies that it's thin skin and that's hollow underneath there. Right? The kissy or smoker wrinkles up your lip. These wrinkles right here, certainly right here. These are structural wrinkles, y'all. No oil is going to make these go away, but it will make your skin better around that, and I do think that helps. I am going to go right under the brow, because this is primer, so it's primer, but I'm staying on the outside of this area, away from the tear duct, because I don't want this to wick up or drop in from sweating to my eye. You don't want to get it in your eye. I take the opposite arm and go down my neck. Here's this one, go down my neck, and just finish it out. Really making sure that I use this to kind of like rub in and get the blood coming up to the surface, bringing oxygen, breathing in these essential oils, breathing in oxygen to my blood, and giving this facial organ skin and right through my eyebrows, frankly. And then back down. And then I'm going to lift my necklaces and just go one down to the decollete area with any leftovers. Both sides. A little up by my neck. Any leftovers. And then you also can use any leftovers on the back of your hands. Because these oils are good for more than just your face. Okay, so you asked. That's the two things that I'm doing right now for skincare, for primer and serum. This is a primer serum, and this is a vitamin C serum. So that's the two things that I'm using. 100%, literally the word percent, 100% pure.com and itcosmetics.com. You can get these two products. Okay? So that's first, serum and primer. Then, underneath that, of my base. I also use, just because I have tried the It Cosmetics, and I will try it again, but my old faithful that I keep going back to is the Chanel Le Lift Cream Riche. There's, I think, a cream fine and just like a regular. And so one's like fine cream, one's like rich cream. I want the rich cream. I used to think it would be so rich that it would be too strong, but it's not. And I don't use much. I literally use one finger like that. Not much at all. Again, I transfer it to the other finger, then the two fingers on either side, and then rub them all together. And again, either side of the face and way back here, beside the eyes, right here where you see all those age spots. Definitely want to moisturize the skin there. Breathe deep. Oh, these are wonderful, wonderful oils and scents that are very pleasing, make me want to take care of my skin. And again, rub it in real good here, here, here. I, right now, I'm not doing a separate eye cream, even though Chanel does make one. It is expensive, so I haven't gotten that eye cream, but um, as not as a regular part of my regimen. But since I got this as a trial, I have been using the Moray Pacific Time Release Eye Reverse Cream. A Moray Pacific Time Response Eye Reverse. And just a touch. Literally using my ring finger going in there. 
and going right under, right below the lashes, not in, and then again right at the crow's feet. The direction the crow's feet go and across it to make sure it gets in there. Then I do pat this to kind of push it down into the pores. Again over here, same thing, right underneath the lashes, don't want it to get in the lashes, and wick up into the eye. The direction of the crow's feet which is out and then across them just to make sure it gets down in there real good and then I'm patting it. Stay away from the tear duct. Stay away from any higher than that little poochy part right behind the lash. You're going one down to where those wrinkles start. There's usually one to two wrinkles there no matter what age you're at. There's, it's just natural to have that. Just gets more pronounced as you age. And then any leftover I put on the 11's right between the brows and on up into here or right above my lip. Any extra good stuff goes to places where wrinkles hang out. Just clean off my excess on my skin, not on some sort of a cloth. This is expensive stuff. Yeah, so that is my skincare routine. Now, some people start off with a face spray. And one of the ones I do like, before they do any of that, they start off like to wake up with a face spray. If I'm going to do that, I like the Queen of Hungary Mist, and this is Amoravica. A-M-O-R-O-V-I-C-A, I'm sorry, V-I-C-Z-A. It's from Budapest. She was the Queen of Hungary and supposedly had a man fall in love with her that was like 30 years her junior because she looked so young. Now, that may have been good genes, or it may have been because she smelled like oranges and he was hungry, because this smells like orange blossom to me. And I wonder if that's all it really is. I need to do research on it, but it is amazing smell. So you can put it on now and let it dry. You can put it on before you do any of the other regiments, or you can do it. Um, I would probably do it now, and I'll tell you why. And I'm staying away from that flame, because even though this is water-based, always be careful when there's a flame around any type of 